Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a cool bro quest bar by just using CSS and HTML from scratch. Have fun watching the video right now and let's go! Alright, first things first, we start in our way. Index.html, I included the script, the main.js, and I included the style sheet, styles.css. Alright, we will begin by coding some HTML. First things first, you're gonna say we create a div container with the class of, let's say, container. It's the overall container for everything we will create now. So we're gonna say we got another div class, or better div ID, and we're gonna say we give this ID of progress bar. And maybe we will create another div. I will show you later why. Another div container into this div container with the ID of progress, right? Okay. That's all we have to do for now. And we will create another button. And the button type will be, of course, button. And we give it the ID of, we give it the ID of my button. And we can write here, click me. All right, and now we are ready in the index.html. As you can see, you will only see a little button with the text of click me. All right, let's style this first. We will begin with uh, the whole body container. First things first, we're gonna say margin will be set to not zero pixel. And padding will be set to zero pixel to take out the standard matching and padding values out of the home page. And we will say the background will be an RGB of let's say 80, 80 and 80. And then we're gonna style the progress bar itself. So it's a hash progress bar. And we will say first things first, height will be 40 pixel. And we can say width will be, let's say 80%. And we can say background. So we give it a background with the color of RGB values of, let's say, 200, 223. All right, here you go. And we're gonna say border, two pixel solid white. Um, we're gonna say border minus radius will be 12 pixel. All right, after that, we're gonna style the progress ID and we're gonna say background minus color will be RGB and this will be a light green here. So we're gonna take this values for the green and maybe as you can see now, I will show you what I'm doing here. If I give it a width of 50%, and we're gonna style the progress bar itself with display will be set to flex. And we can say it's just a five content and it's very important to say flex minus start. And as you can see now, the green container, the progress ID will be filled for 50%. Of course, we have to style it a little bit. So we have to say water radius 12 pixel as well. And we have to say display flex. Um, we have to say justify content center. So we can bring later the value of the progress bar into it. And we can say align minus items center as well. All right, we're not ready. We go back to the progress bar and we will just say color for the fonts. I'm gonna say RGB will be something like 39, three times. And that's black. And we're gonna say font minus size will be 24 pixel and we're gonna say font minus weight to 900 right okay so we are ready close to be ready so we need to style the button we're gonna say hash my button and we can say we give it a width of 80 percent like the progress bar container and we're gonna say border set to none and we're gonna say border minus radius set to 12 pixel. And we're gonna say background minus color. Let's give it a red, for example, let's say. Um, 104 and 104 is a light red. 
and we're gonna say color white and we're gonna say margin minus top will be 20 pixel to push it away from the top about 20 pixel we're gonna say padding 20 pixel as well and we're gonna say font minus weight will be 900 make the font a little bit bigger and at least to give text a little shadow we would say for example 2 pixel 2 pixel um, let's say 10 pixel 0 pixel and the color of black so it has a little shadow and at least we will give the button a little hover effect we're gonna say my button and we're gonna say hover and you can say transform for example scale and so I scale about 0 0.99 just a little scale so if I go hover the button, um, the button will be a little bit smaller. All right, so we have to do one, one more last thing. So we have to style the dot container, the overall container. And we can say again, display will be flat. And just the file content set to center. So it's in the middle. And very important here, you have to say flex minus direction will be column. And you can say align minus items will be center and now you can say margin minus top let's say 250 pixel and now we have our little progress bar styled and designed now we're gonna do the functions in the main.js and at least that's not that hard it's really pretty easy to do we will work with the width of the progress so you can style the background by changing the width here that's why we put the div container of the progress ID into this div container. Pretty decent, right? So we're gonna put it as value of zero in the beginning. Now we go to the main.js and we start first things first, clearing some variables. So we say variable slider is equal to document dot get element by ID and we will take um, the progress bar. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. Nope. And we're gonna say variable progress. This document that get element by ID of progress. And we're gonna say variable button. This document that get element by ID of my button. It's the IDs we used here, here, and here. All right. First of all, we need a width of this white parent container here. So we're gonna say variable width um, of with bar maybe. This will be, um, let's say window dot get computed style um, of the progress. And we're gonna say dot width. But of course we need to do a parse in to make it to an integer right you know. Otherwise we will get a pixel value, but you only need the number itself. After that, you need the variable with progress to take the width of the green container that is now at zero percent and not visible, but later will be. So we're gonna say parse int and we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna say of the slider, right? Okay. And you can say variable result will be, and we've gone around this, math.round. And we can say here with bar divided by with progress. And you're gonna say, you wanna take this 100 times to make a percent value out of it. Oh, I made a mistake here, we missed the H, right? Okay. Oh yeah, and of course we missed the S here right now. And um, now we fix this. And now we can say console.log. Um, we're gonna say we will log the result. And as you can see, we'll get a result of zero because the green value is now at zero. And if we change this, if we say 20% and reload this, we will get 20. Um, if you set it to 50% and we reload this, we will get 50. That's the point we will do here right now. So in the end, we will do something very special. We will create a clear function. We'll call this move. 
and we're gonna say this function will start an interval and this interval we will start the function at frame we will call the function at frame with an interval of 100 so every 100 milliseconds or 0.1 seconds the interval is gone and we're gonna say function at frame um, will be um, let's say first things first we're gonna say progress dot style dot width is equal to result and of course we need the percent sign here so we're gonna say plus percent and now we're gonna say button dot add event listener yeah. listen on the event click and we're gonna start with, we're gonna do a function and we're gonna say function move so if we click this nothing will happen right now because you have to say result will be result plus five for example you can take the value whatever you want and if you click this you will see in the interval of so every 100 milliseconds it will be increased by five percent right so you can take a bigger value for example 20 and if it looks like this or you can take a little small value of course and then it will look like this okay but we're not ready yet in the end we have of course to say if result is smaller than 100 percent so we write only 100 then we will do this only then so it will stop if the value of result is 100 and we can say progress.inihtml is equal to result plus the percent sign as a string now if we click the button you would see the percent value of the progress bar is shown in the middle of the green bar right now and it will stop at 100 percent of course we will do this a little bit faster with five here and as you can see the progress bar is growing of course you can do a little smaller value here and say plus two for example so it would be a little bit smoother and yeah you can take of course whatever you want and that's pretty awesome right and that's my progress bar i made from scratch with only using these as an html and of course you can do it a little bit faster 10 milliseconds it looks like this of course it's a little bit faster and smoother you can take whatever you want i hope you guys liked the video if you liked the video please subscribe to my youtube channel i would really appreciate that if i see you in my subscriber list and i hope you guys liked the video and i could help you maybe maybe we'll see you in the next i hope i will see you in the next video bye